this Monday morning of Holy Week. We read about the journeys of Jesus in Mark 11. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. He would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, It is written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. But you, you have made it a den of robbers. And he set the stage for this passage. Palm Sunday had just happened. He had entered Jerusalem in a parade of palms and, and hosannas to the King of Kings. It was an exciting day. But as the day came to a close, the disciples needed a place to rest. So they went about two miles out of town to Bethany, where they spent the night with Lazarus, Martha, and Mary. On Monday morning, they woke up, and it was time to go to the temple to make their sacrifices. And as they approached the temple, Jesus was stunned at what he saw. Now, the temple was designed um, in five different courts. The center was the Holy of Holies, where only the high priest could enter once a year. After that was the court of the priests that surrounded it. It implied that only the priest not the lay people could be there. Then it was a court for Jewish men, another court for Jewish women, and then the outer court was for the non-Jews, the Gentiles. That is as close as they could get to the Holy of Holies. The temple really represented the walls that we have built up, distinguishing each other, those who are more important, those who are holier from the rest of us. Well, Jesus entered that outer temple and he saw, really, worship going on. You see, the Levitical law states that cattle, sheep, and dove were used to be burnt offerings in the temple. People were on a Passover week, so they had traveled a long pilgrimage to be there. They couldn't bring these sacrificial animals with them. So they had to go to the temple and buy them there. And there were shops set up for all of these out-of-town guests. There were um, tables. Uh, animals everywhere. Jesus just couldn't believe what was going on. And then he noticed the money changer tables. You see, Levitical law also said that Greek and Roman coins couldn't be used because they had the face of the emperor on it. So they had to exchange all foreign currency for coinage that was accepted in the temple. So it was nothing unusual to find these things happening. But what was happening was the temple wasn't being treated as sacred. People were cheating others with the exchange of foreign coins. The prices were so high for all of these offerings, these animals. So Jesus lost his temper. That Monday morning, it kind of made him mad. So he went and he, Scripture says, he took cords and a whip and he drove out those animals. He flipped over all the tables. He caused chaos. The Pharisees took notice. The Roman guards took notice. And when everything settled down enough for Jesus to speak, he created a teachable moment. He said, it is written in scriptures, my house will be called a house of prayer for all people. Referring to the prophet Isaiah, who wrote that the Gentile offerings would be accepted, that the temple would be a house of prayer for all people. All of these walls, the divisions that this temple represented, were not of God. By you changing God's house into a den of robbers, Jesus was referring to Jeremiah, where he cautioned that the house of God was to be a place that took care of people, that didn't take advantage of others. So this holy temple, this sacred place, over time had been turned into a den of robbers, a den of thieves. When Jesus died on Friday of Holy Week, the veil of the temple was ripped. The place of the Holy Holies that separated from all the other courts and all other people was torn in two. The wall was taken down. When the wall between us and God was taken down on the cross, the walls between each of us were torn as well. This week, let us all take a moment.
Let us all pray that Jesus will create a teachable moment in our lives. When are we building walls between each other? When are we not caring for one another? Holy Week has begun. It's the journey of Jesus. It's the last week that he has on earth to teach and to instruct and to remind. On this Monday of Holy Week, Jesus is reminding us that the house of God is to be a house for all people, that we are to care for one another. May you have a teachable moment today.